All right, folks, so we are here with Rob, who's been on the streets of London for how long? 18 months, 18, 19 months. 18, 19 months, yeah. right. What happened? Did you end up on the streets? Uh, basically, about 18 months ago, uh, I was working for Vauxhall. Hold on. Uh, about 18 months ago, I was working for Vauxhall in Luton, in uh, Bedfordshire. Uh, came back from work one day, uh, went to see my friend. Uh, my, my friend was 22. Uh, basically, he had, a, he had a gorgeous missus. He had three kids. Uh, walked in, walked into his living room. Uh, couldn't find him. Walked into his be 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 bedroom. Uh, he, he was there. He basically hung himself. Uh, basically, uh, rang the police and all that. Couldn't, couldn't handle it. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, he, he hung himself. One of my best mates. So. Uh, for the last, for the next like three weeks, three or four weeks, when I was going to work, every single time I was going past his door, I could, I could just, I could just see his picture again of him hanging himself. So basically, uh, I couldn't stay in that home, home anymore, in Luton. So basically, uh, I've left, left Luton, left me, left my job in Boxall, and I've come to London, uh, become, become homeless basically. All the, yeah, I just, I just dealt, dealt with them, you know. Right. I'm a street person, so I'm rough, I'm ready for it, you know. Yeah, he's actually at the Bethlehem at the moment because he's had a form of a breakdown. But yeah, I've ended up in, in London. Alcoholism, my parents were drinkers themselves. But... West Africa. Tongo. Yeah, to Tongo. Exactly. Yes. The system's broken. I pay tax all my life in the UK, yeah? Born in the UK, I ran an events company. Big company. Where's Vauxhall? Uh, Vauxhall, it's a uh, Vauxhall. No, the car company Vauxhall. Oh, you work for Vauxhall? Well, yeah, in Luton. Right, in Europe it's called Opel. Yeah, and it's in GM. It's, uh, yeah, well, it's based in Luton. In Bedfordshire. In Bedfordshire, that's, Bedford, yeah, that's, that's where, where you're from. That's where I was from, yeah. Cool. I was basically there. And that's uh, how what triggered your homelessness? Well, yeah, I come back one day and uh, my best mate hung himself for no reason. No reason whatsoever. He had two gorgeous kids. He had a perfect wife and there was no issues. He had no mental health issues and I couldn't get my head around the way he hung himself. He was your best mate? He was my best mate, yeah, and he hung himself. I couldn't, it'd be, it'd be different if he had mental health issues or he, or he was arguing with his missus, or, but he wasn't. He was in a perfect state of mind. i seen him about three hours before. i come back from work and went, went to go into his living room and he's in the, he's in the bathroom, hung, hung himself. Uh, basically, couldn't get my head around it. Uh, kept on, every single time I kept on going to work after then, I had to walk past his room, every single time I walked walk past his room, I kept on thinking about him hung, hanging himself, started to drink more, started to smoke, smoke more cannabis, uh, started to fucking miss shifts at work, started to uh, be late for work, and then basically uh, Vauxhall laid me off, uh, so basically I had no money or nothing, uh, basically I become homeless then, uh, moved to London, originally, originally moved to uh, Victoria. How, how far is... Bedfordshire from uh, London. Uh, it's not far, about, uh, about about 25, about 20, about 20 miles. Well, it's 20 there. miles, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. like local area, right? Yeah, it's near Luton, near Luton Airport. Next, next door to Luton Airport, it is you got Vauxhall. Oh, right, there. I yeah. see. Yeah. That's like yeah. pretty well, yeah, much Greater London. Yeah, well, yeah, it's on the outskirts. You can you can still use your Easter card and all that. But yeah, it was uh, I, I enjoyed working for Vauxhall. Yeah, but just uh, done done yeah, then coming back. Coming what did back. you do in the factory? Uh, basically, do you know the Vivo vans? I was basically putting the pa uh, passenger doors on. Passenger uh, yeah, doors just basically on. Uh, putting the door onto a hydraulics, spinning it round and basically wiring it up and just putting the passenger door on. It was on a production line, so it kept on going and yeah, I was basically doing that. I'm still under contract with Vauxhall now. I'm under con yeah, I'm under contract until 2026. But I but yeah, I just everything I can't go back there because I just think about my mate out uh, hanging hanging himself. Yeah, so basically yeah. Come back from work one day, my friend's got no mental health issues, there was no issues whatsoever, and uh, I go into his living room, and he's blue in the face, he hung himself, uh, basically rang the police, uh, could, couldn't get my head round it, because there was nothing wrong with him, uh, come to London, uh, since I've been on the streets here, basically started smoking that spice, 
Uh, All right, yeah, are you hooked on spice like? Well, basically, I've just come off it now. I'm on a, I'm on a volume detox with the turning point, so I'm, I'm not smoking it anymore. I'm on a volume instead. So it's like a detox. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, I'm, I'm on a detox for it as well. So, uh, so basically, yeah, it's a, it's a cheap drug. And yeah, basically. Uh, How much does it cost? I heard it's three, yeah, four pounds. Two. You can get it for like two. You can get it for like two, three pounds. You can. Is that you nothing. sorted for tonight? No, no, only a pound. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, we know basically, yeah. So uh, come back from work, found my mate dead. Uh, couldn't get my head round it. Moved to London. Uh, basically, become homeless. Uh, basically, uh, just sorted my head out now. I'm in a hostel in Victoria. Uh, King George. All oh, right, you say in the hostel. You're I'm not in a hostel like, now. Uh, on the streets. No, I'm just, I just got into a hostel two days ago. Uh, basically, uh, I, I haven't been staying there though. I've been still sleeping rough. Uh, basically, just full of paedophiles and nonsense, and I can't be around them. So basically, yeah. So I'm, I've, I've got a place in a hostel, but I'm not sleeping in it. So basically, yeah, I'm just sleeping along here now. Yeah. Right, hold on, Terry. Mm. He's asking All right, the Terry. Is that if somebody's going to like? try drugs would you what would you say to young people out there definitely wouldn't advise them on it no definitely wouldn't advise them on taking drugs you know? yeah. <laughs> i don't to be honest i don't really i've never really done drugs it's only since i've become homeless i smoke and spice i've worked for most of my life i work for I'm, I'm i'm 48 years of age i've worked for 25 years that's what i'm saying i'm a, I work most of my life. Just recently, when I found my, my friend dead, I couldn't get my head around it. I become homeless. But the last couple of weeks, I've been starting to speak to my daughters again, speak to my family again. You know, like sort my life out. So hopefully, I'll, I'll end up going back to Luton and hopefully get my job back. Hopefully soon. <laughs> all well, right. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best, Terry. Hmm? Uh, what was your like family situation? You got family? Uh, yeah. Well, for family support, it's good. Uh, I've got two brothers. Uh, my dad. Uh, we've got three daughters, um, and the support's really good. Uh, they still think I'm working. Uh, I haven't got the heart to tell them that I'm homeless. They'll probably uh, kill my dad. My, my dad still thinks I'm working and everything, so uh, so yeah, I've been lying to my dad. And my dad found out I was homeless on right, the streets. My dad doesn't know you're a no, homeless no, person. No, 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 no. He'll go mad, my dad. Well, if yeah. he sees you on my YouTube channel, what will happen then? Uh, basically, well, he, thinks I'm living, he, he thinks I'm living in a hostel. My dad. My dad doesn't watch YouTube, he's saying, yeah. my, my, dad's, my dad's pretty old now, well, well I'm 40, so. 80, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that, yeah. Hey, Terry, but, yeah. well, and if there's something, uh, like, somebody watching this, uh, your loved ones, would you like to say something yeah, to them? Yeah, yeah, just fucking, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry for, for, for not being there, yeah, basically to my daughters, yeah, we have it. But they know, they, they, they know what, what I'm going through now, basically. I, I found one of my best mates dead. I've known, I knew, I knew, I've on known. On the streets? Yeah, I've known him, my best mate. I've known him for 48 years. I'm, I grew and up with him. And you found your best mate on the streets yeah, as dead. well? Yeah, he After was dead over there. He found dead over there in Mountain Warehouse. What's his name? His name was Mark. Mark? Mark. He was from uh, Yorkshire. Yeah. Teardrop. He had a, he had a tattoo there. No, he I, died outside Mountain Warehouse. I met, I met Sean, Paul, Sean James from Yorkshire. No, no, no. Day. He used to sleep, you know, where uh, Covent Garden Church. He used to sleep there. But uh, he smoked spice. And uh, he'd see where Mountain Warehouse is there. He, 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 he woke up and he was just dead. This, this is about, uh, this is only about another two weeks ago. Rob, if there's somebody wanting to, like, donate or help you out, is there yeah. any contact? Uh, yeah, if you... Uh, contact me through my gmail account yeah. or my yahoo account it's uh, robert napier 1976 at yahoo.com uh, is there any chance you could spell it out uh, r-o-b-e-r-t-n-a-p-i-e-r and it's robert napier 1976 at yahoo.com have you got a phone number uh, yeah uh, you ready yeah i'm ready for it it is zero seven yep 502 502 067 067 007 007 007 Is there anything no, else you would like to say? Just like to say uh, hello to my family, would you say? That's about it, yeah. Okay, well my friend, nice to talk to you, I hope you get better. Uh, forget about the spice, that's killing no, no, people, no, man. No, 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 no. Is there any other drugs that you're using? Like? Not just alcohol, just, just, uh, just alcohol. Alcohol. Well, yeah, just a beer. Just a beer. <laughs> yeah. just a beer for me. Just That's a beer. Just a beer. And a bit of spice. Well, not 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 anymore. I'm on a detox, so. Yeah.
Well, stay that way, get off the alcohol, get off the streets. All the best. God bless you, my friend. Thank you.